So when we found out I was deaf, I was about three years old. My parents took me to um, an audiology department when, I was, when they wanted to find out what was wrong with me. And they did loads of things. I think they did something called a distraction test where they would do like snaps around your ears, see if you react to the sound on your left, which one's worse, which one's better. I don't know what age I got hearing aids, but my dad always tells me the minute I got hearing aids, my face just completely changed. It lit up. I could hear sounds, I could hear things, I could hear birds, I could hear tr the wind and the trees and everything. Yeah, it was, it was, he always tells me about it. My dad's not a very emotional guy, but he always tells me about it. Yeah. People say, when you take your hearing aids out, what do you hear? And that's hard to say because I don't know what I can and can't hear. I don't know what ordinary people can hear and I don't know what I can't hear. But it's quite nice because I get a nice peaceful sleep. But then sometimes I'll, it, it can be unnerving, especially when you're little, because you hear a noise and you think it's a monster and you don't know what it is, but it could be just literally you just moving in a bed, your bed creaking or something like that. So for me at the minute, and now as I'm getting older, my hearing's going, I've actually started noticing it a bit more. My, so I take my hearing aids out, I can't hear anything at all and I really struggle to hear anyone talking to me, even if it's right next to me. And it's a bit more of a concern. And I know, I know I've gone for an eye test recently, my eyes are getting worse. So it's just going downhill for me, isn't it? I'm ginger, I'm deaf, and now my eyes are going. So... <laughs> Livid! <laughs> the biggest struggle for me being deaf that's quite a hard one because it could fall under a number of different things because obviously growing up, bullying, that was very difficult at the time but I had to deal with it. And then obviously I started to get older and you have to look for work and because I had these bright green moulds, you don't get work because people think there's a lot more you have to put into place for you which costs a lot more money and they just can't be bothered to put it in place. So I know I, did a, I went for an interview a few years ago and I had my, my hair was long at the time and I went for the interview and I went like that, and they said, oh, you've got hearing aids. I went, yeah, yeah, and went, do you need any sort of assistance? I thought, this is brilliant. They're actually being very welcoming. Didn't get the job. They told me I wasn't passionate enough, and I was very passionate. That's the biggest struggle as an adult deaf person, finding work. That's why I had to get smaller hearing aids, because I went for castings before, saw my hearing aids, they didn't want a deaf person. I got these, and I got one of the biggest jobs that I could at the time, and it was brilliant. Being deaf and wearing hearing aids is something to be embraced. It's something that you should show off and you should be proud to say that you are deaf because there's a whole history and culture behind it. Hmm. And then I went to learn sign language and I just thought, it's such a beautiful language. It's not like charades at all. It, there's some things that can be a little bit like charades, but there's not much, but it's such a brilliant, I can talk to people through windows. That's and underwater, that's cool, isn't it? I love that. <laughs> Please and thank you, yeah. That's a sign for thank you and thank you, please, yeah. Hello and goodbye. It's very simple. Do you see what I mean? Sign language is not like charades. It's very simple. It's just, just hello, goodbye, please and thank you. Um, that's apple, that's tea, you know, coffee. It's so simple sometimes. Do I describe myself having a disability? Um, no, because I, as I keep saying, I deal with it, I get on with it. I've figured out how to read body language and lip patterns to help me understand what's going on. Um, and I, I cope quite well. I can hear what's being said to me. I can see what's being said to me from miles away. But no, I just deal with that. I don't have a disability. I'm just a human being who's just got a little bit more to him. That's it. If I had to give anyone advice, really, it would just be don't give up. Because, you know, it can be really, really hard. If you're deaf and you're trying to find just a normal nine to five job, it's hard, but you can do it. I've seen people who are, have families and who have been in relationships and have got married and just because you, uh, you feel very small, you, you're not small, you can do it. You can absolutely do it. You can do anything you want and no one should tell you you can't because you're much stronger than that. 
And I heard it quite recently, I think I told you the other week, um, it was at the Golden Globes and he said, believe in yourself because other people do. And a lot of people forget that. A lot of people think I have to do it for me. You know, you forget that it's, it's not just you, you're doing it for everyone. You can, you can do it and other people do have a lot of faith in you and you just shouldn't give up. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you.